down south park and meet some friends of mine. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Dash Reacts. You recommended the South Park episode, Cartman's Incredible Gift. Let's do this. I don't know, that looks pretty high up. Yeah, I think it'd be better to start lower. Dude, I really don't think it's smart, Cartman. This is gonna be totally cool, oh, you guys. No, no it's not. It's not gonna work, just come down from there. Jeez, it looks a lot higher from up here. What's going on? Carmen thinks he can fly off of his roof. As a kid, I tried something similar with a garbage bag. It didn't work. Do it! Do it! <laughs> I'm gonna! I wouldn't if I were you. Those wings don't look very strong. Don't listen to him, Cartman. I'm sure it'll work. It's messed up, Kyle. On this historic day, let us go Ah, oh, go on and do it already! Hold on, I'm giving my speech! We remember the Wright brothers, Orville and Redenbacher, whose dreams and visions inspired generations. The magic of flight! Sound effect gets me every single time. There's something in my pocket. What? And these mofos just scattered and ran off. But as a kid, you know, because you don't want to get in trouble. Well, what's wrong with him? I'm afraid that your son is incredibly stupid. He thought he could fly <laughs> with cardboard wings. The stupidity is so severe that it caused a fall, which has put him into a deep coma. My God, for, for how long? There's no telling. He may never recover. We'll just have to wait and see. Seasons change, time passes by. As the weeks become, the months become the years. He has a beard now? Uh, oh my, doctor, he's awake. Where, where am I? Nurse, you can remove his face warmer now. Yes, doctor. Okay. Now, you Eric, go. you've face suffered warmer. massive head trauma. Your road to recovery will be long and arduous. At least another two days. Why the hell do I have to share my room with other patients? This is bullcrap! Oh, you're sounding just like your old self again. Damn it! Another murder victim! For three years, the left-hand killer has been at large and I've exhausted every lead. Maybe I just don't killer. have what it takes to be a cop anymore. We better get back to the station, sir. Good, because you assholes have kept me up for three hours. All right, let's go, Murphy. Hang on a second, where, where are my car keys? Probably in your front pocket, dumbass. Doctor, didn't you say that kid suffered head trauma? Yes, it was pretty severe. What is it, Lou? I've heard cases where people suffering head trauma wake into some psychic abilities. Oh, come on, sir. I know it's ridiculous, but I'm going to explore every possibility I can. Hello, young man. Could we have a quick word with you? Not now. The nurse is going to walk in any minute with my lunch. 12.30, Eric. Lunchtime. Young man... How did you know the nurse was gonna walk in just now? I don't know, I just knew it. Aw oh, man, it smells like meatloaf again! Yep, meatloaf again! <laughs> Jesus, how did he... Well, it's a snowball's chance in hell, but... We were wondering if you could come down and see if your... new powers could help us catch the killer. If God has seen fit to bless you with this gift, you should use it. He's no coincidences. The killer always cuts off the left hand of his victim and keeps it as a trophy. Stand back, give him room. What do you see in your mind? Ice cream. Covered with chocolate sprinkles. Double stuff Oreos. <laughs> He's taking the top off of one and... <laughs> being put together to make quadruple stuffs. Anybody ever did that? Ice cream with sprinkles and quadruple stuffs. Jesus Christ. Sir, Tom Johansson, the owner of the ice cream shop. Yes? Oh, hello, detectives. Mr. Johansson, could we have a quick word with you? Well, sure, <clears throat> come on in. I'm afraid the house is a little bit of a disaster area since I had. Get him! Ah! Oh, no! Go, oh, six! Go, oh, six! Go, take him down! Go, no, 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 Put up a hell of a fight, no! but we got him. Why? Why? Congratulations, Eric. You just stopped the biggest killer in South Park history. We would give you a reward, <laughs> but I guess that knowing the people of South Park are safe again is reward enough. Guess again. All right, here's $100. <laughs> wow! His powers are uncanny. Take good care of him, Miss Carmen. Make sure he uses his powers for good. Oh, 
You don't even know if the ice cream shop owner did it. You'll just beat that old man up for no reason. I'm a psychic and you are it. I have super awesome powers. You don't. Carbon, what did you do? Oh, didn't you hear, Kyle? I used my new psychic abilities to catch the serial killer and I made a hundred bucks. Nice old Mr. Johansson runs a candy shop. He's gonna kill her and you know it. Then why did I see ice cream and Thank cookies you. when I closed my eyes? Because you're a fucking fat ass, that's why. Do not doubt my powers, Cal. You don't have any powers. Don't make me do it, Cal. I can make your head explode with a single thought. He can't do crap. Fine, Cal. You asked for it. There he is. Hey, Eric. While the ice cream store owner was in jail, another murder was committed. This body also had a missing hand and a bowl of cornflakes next to it. Which can only mean one thing. That a copycat killer is on the loose. We need your psychic abilities to catch this new guy right away. I'm afraid that my powers are not for sale. And by that I mean they absolutely are for sale. Let's go. Child wunderkind Eric <sighs> Cartman is now arriving on the scene. Wait a minute. Fried chicken. It's tender and it's fresh. There's maple syrup. <laughs> maple syrup's being put on the chicken. What the hell is wrong with these people? They're never gonna catch the serial killer. He's too smart. Do you want to see my cotton panties? Mm. It is fried chicken. What are you doing to that chicken? Oh my God. It's a fried chicken Sunday. Junior, what are you doing out? I'm sorry, Mother. You come home right now and have sex with me. No, Mommy! Does anyone know who that guy is? I said quiet, you little bread, I'll have you arrested for interfering with the law. The copycat killer of the cut off the left hand killer has been arrested. Police used the help of Eric Cartman, a Vundukin psychic detective, and the police immediately arrested the owner of Kentucky Fried Chicken. Colonel, I've been your biggest supporter since I was two years old. I love your chicken. I love you. The young man's vision was so astounding <laughs> that other police departments have sought out his help. Why? If I'm happy and I know it, clap my hands. If I'm happy and I know it, clap my hands. Sweetie, there's um some people here to see you. More people need to make use of my phenomenal gift, huh? Kid, we have a problem. You didn't go through the proper channels to become a psychic detective like we all did. Yeah! yeah. Proper channels? You were supposed to fill out the form on the back of the comic book and pay the $25 fee for the degree from the psychic <laughs> detective school. I was given my gift from a tragic accident. I didn't need to go to psychic detective school. You must pay the $25 fee and give us 10% of your earnings. What? <laughs> 10% my bars get lost. Then you leave us no choice. Roger. Go, 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 go. All right, everyone. They're all frauds. Stand back, mother. We're having a telekinetic battle of men. She just played along. We are obviously quite evenly matched. I guess this will have to be settled in court. In court? We've brought a class action lawsuit against you. We'll see you before the judge tomorrow. Tomorrow? That's fast. Oh, is that the, the bus driver? Do you want an office referral? No. Then sit down! Her name is Veronica Crabtree, bus driver for yeah. the elementary school. She was considered an ancillary character, one the fans wouldn't miss much. I love how self-aware South Park is. Jesus Christ. Cause of death? Same MO, sir. Multiple stab wounds, left hand cut off and missing. So you're telling me somebody new is now copying the crimes of the copycat killer? Jesus, no. where will it end? Well, you find the Every real killer. Every time I put a killer behind bars, another guy just steps in and takes his place. What am I doing wrong? And you know how serial killers sometimes return to the scene of the crime? Well, I followed this guy to his house, and when he left again, I collected some fingerprints and did a blood sample analysis. I'm pretty sure he's your man. How do you know, you psychic? No. Look, kid, don't waste my time with your blood sample fingerprinty hocus pocus. I have to find this new killer now. I owe it to that victim over there. I know she hadn't been in any recent episodes, but damn it, she deserved better than this. Come on, Murph, we gotta talk to Eric Cartman again. <laughs> nice. Why won't anybody listen to me? Don't take it personally, okay? I am taking it personally because Cartman is a retard. That's it. If I want people to listen to me, I just have to be as stupid as Cartman. 
Dude, I really don't think that's a good idea. There has to be another way. It's not. Be sure to take me to the same hospital. Now, Kyle, don't fly too close to the sun, or it'll burn your wings, and you'll crash into the ocean. Butters, God damn it. <laughs> All right, here we go. Since the days of Copernicus, man has dreamed of flight. On this historic day, we remember... Ah, oh, screw it. Ah! Oh, God. <sighs> Call an ambulance. Multiple arrests were made today for the murder of Hillary Niels. Police raided the South Park Motel 6 at 4 a.m., where seven psychic detectives were staying. What did we do? Get oh, your head down, <laughs> spread them! Stand back! Oh, Don't make oh. me do it! Don't make me do it! No, 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 no. Oh, oh. The psychic detective's horrible crime was found out by psychic detective Eric Cartman, who is now the only psychic not behind bars. What an amazing coincidence. Ah, Kyle is at the door. Come in, Kyle. You got people killed. Because of you, nobody knows the extent of my deeds. Oh, yeah, awesome. Hold on just a second. Ma'am, there's some homeless guy here. Make him go away. Oh, oh no. You're obviously a big fan of my work. I don't even know you, dude. But I am the serial killer. The one whose rightful place in history you have smirched. They went a little heavy on the pubes, huh? Before you die, let me show you the things I have done. So you understand the breadth of my transformation. This is me at the Grand Canyon. Do you see? This so is me at Mount Rushmore. Do you see? Do you see now? Yeah, I see. <laughs> Do you see? Yes, yes, I see! Here I am at the Alamo in San Antonio. This was just outside of the gift shop. Do you see? <laughs> this is Jacoby changing. Oh Do my you god. See? Damn it out of hell! They just found another body. That means a fifth copycat killer is on the loose. Where's my psychic? Sorry, Sarge. The psychic's mom says her son hasn't been home for a couple hours. Another little boy just awoke from a coma and is having psychic visions. Let's go! He was in a coma for over 16 hours. <laughs> the face warmer. Doctor, could you remove his face warmer? We'd like to speak with him. Of <laughs> Young man, the doctor said you've had some visions about our newest murder. Oh, I'm seeing it all flash before my eyes. The guy's name is Michael Dietz, and he lives at 621 Castillo Street. He's usually there between 7 and 11 p.m. How do we know this kid is really psychic? I mean, this boy is certainly no Eric Cartman. Ah! All right, we'll check this Dietz guy out. But let's use that one thing that we never use. Sir? You know, what's that one thing that starts with an R that we never use? Restraint? Yeah, yeah, restraint. We'll check this guy out, but let's <laughs> use some restraint. Use. Good evening, sir. We're Park County detectives. We were just wondering if we could take a quick look around your house, Mr... God. Well, Mr. God, it won't take but a second. It might help us with an investigation. It's like telltale. I see you like cutting the eyes out of photos of women. My son is a big fan of that, too. Sorge, in here! Yes. <laughs> Jesus, H. That boy was right. Arrest that guy! Whoa, 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 wait, 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 whoa. No, I I'm wrong. Sir? This isn't the guy. The serial killer always cuts off the victim's left hands. Right. Well, those aren't left hands. See? On your left hand, the thumb faces to the left. Those are all right hands. Oh. oh. Nope, Turn this isn't our man. Over. <laughs> We're sorry, Mr. God. It appears we've wasted your time. <laughs> Pretty amazing coincidence that guy had a bunch of hands on his wall. No wonder that boy thought he was the killer. Call it police intuition, but something in there just didn't feel right. None of it felt right. Wait a minute. What is it? I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to run some tests. It is not that complicated, Yates. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> A whole montage over this. Murphy, do you remember what I was supposed to be doing? Oh, something about hands, sir? For the serial killer? Right, the hands, right. <laughs> so silly. Oh my god. It was it was very wrong of me to lie about the other psychics and get them arrested. Your hand will be one with the others. Please just let me go. I'm gonna tell everyone I'm not really psychic. I've learned my lesson. Please, I don't wanna... 
don't want to have to use my psychic mind missile on you. Hold it right there, killer. <laughs> you got here just in time. He was going to kill me because he was insanely jealous of my incredible psychic ability. Not only did your psychic visions help us catch the killer, but a lot of innocent people are out of jail. Yes, thank you very much, Kyle. <laughs> yes, thanks. You're certainly a better psychic than Eric. Carmen never had psychic visions, and neither do these people. The plain, simple truth is that nobody is psychic. There's a logical explanation for every psychic story you've ever heard. Do you think that's true? It must be true. The kid is psychic. But I don't suppose it really matters much, because in the end, the way I caught the killer was with good old-fashioned police work. I guess that just leaves one score to settle. You can't hurt me. Then let this be our final battle. Stop it! There's a logical explanation for that. I don't know if it's just me, but it seems like there are a lot of really funny South Park episodes in that season seven to season nine range. And this one was no exception. Really funny stuff. If you enjoyed this reaction, please make sure to give this video a like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.